Hi everyone, just a quick update to let you know how uh, the WD-40 experiment was working. As you can see, the, uh, the silicon has pretty much all uh, come off on the you know the top bits. Still little bits of bobs here and there. Um, the back, you can see it's still coated in it. However, if I slide it forward, just to give you an idea, it is now extremely pliable and I'll be able to grab it. I'm doing this with one hand so that gives you an idea how loose this is. This will just come off in one easy swoop, hopefully. Nothing's holding it down. Yeah. With all the imprints of everything. Makes a very clean board. And uh, again, I'll be doing that. Just, it's a matter of principle. I wanted to see if this was actually going to work or not. Um, overall, I have to say, I think that on these types of boards, it's not worth it to collect anything. Um, I mean, okay, yeah, you do have gold pins or gold plated pins on the inside, but what appears to be gold, such as, you know, these little bits here, actually turn out to be, um, not so much. I mean, it will be gold, obviously, within the processors. Um, but we'll see. I'll uh, I'll keep you updated. I will destroy this board by ripping it apart. But I just wanted to share that for some reason WD forty actually worked. Um, do I recommend it overall? Um, yeah, if you don't want to spend a ton of money on chemicals, um, go for it. Do I recommend you grabbing hold of as many um, main boards as you possibly can? No, <laughs> not at all. Um, my models never give up, uh, and I haven't. I've successfully pried it away and pried it out of its original casing. Um, I managed to get everything that I, you know, I need. And now it's just a case of popping out pins, removing the last traces, and going from there. So, thank you for watching. And, uh, no acetone was used. Um, I call it acetone, acetone, whatever you want to call it, really. Um, but thank you for watching. Uh, WD-40 actually works. Cheers.